everybody welcome back to the channel so we are taking a look at heroes of the trojan wars this was part of the mythic battles pantheon game uh i think it was by monolith uh although i don't know if it's still monolith or now i think it's now by mythic i think they have their own company but uh i wanted to show you this because they are going to be coming out with their uh Mythic Battles, uh, I think it's Mythic Battles Ragnarok or something like that, but it's gonna it's gonna feature the version with the uh, the uh, the Norse gods and heroes in it, and I just wanted to take a look at this. I just got this. I had been wanting to get this when it first came out, uh, mainly because I did do the first Kickstarter for this. But I eventually sold most of my stuff. But I did keep some of the heroes because I just liked the way they were done. So, like, I kept Achilles and uh, Hector and some of the other heroes, uh, Odysseus, things like that. So, these, though, were the heroes you had to have gotten in this box, which you had to have ordered at the Kickstarter. So, we're going to take a look at them and see what they look like. And... Uh, if I remember correct, this was actually a pretty good... These were pretty good sculpts for these miniatures. They are plastic. So we will see that. I think you get, you get five in here. And so you get... Uh, I don't know. Some pretty decent looking little... Like a rouge supplement. So I think this is like a scenario that tells you how to uh, incorporate them into your games. The Vengeance of Pen... Penthesilia. So we got that. These are your cards and your boards, which you would use to play them with and give them their powers and things like that. I totally forgot how this was played. Uh, I've never actually played the game. I've seen it played, but I, I've just never got around to playing it. I just mostly get the miniatures. You know, don't judge me. All right, so let's open these up. Try to keep this pretty quick and straightforward because this is an old box. I mean, you can get it on eBay. So it's not like I'm showing you something you can't get. It's just I don't think it was available uh, in the initial like box. If you just bought Mythic Battles from somebody, you'd have to buy this separately. So let's take a first look at this one called Penethesilia. I, I know a lot of the Greek mythology but i've never heard of her or maybe i have and i just don't remember so this is her if you can see her well it seems like there's a lot of light here let's see if this is gonna focus a little better i don't know it still doesn't seem like it's focusing Oh, let's get you over here. Uh, let's do this. Okay, so I think we have a focus now. So you can see her wardrobe, her weapons, and her hair. We're going to go to the next one. Let's take a look at King Agamemnon. This is actually the figure that made me want this set. So I think he could paint up good. Uh, the next one is Paris. This one to focus. Well, this does not want to focus today. There we go. So you can see that good detail in his armor and his bow on his cloak. 
I mean, I even like the pose, the way his foot is raised there. That kind of sells it. Ajax. Definitely one of the heroes of the Trojan Wars. Wielding a massive hammer. Helmet, shield. And the last one is Diomedes. So I don't remember Diomedes. I think this might have been Achilles' uh, nephew or cousin, the one that got killed trying to pretend to be Achilles. Definitely a nice sculpt, nice pose. And so, like I said, you get five of these. I think nowadays this box runs about $35 for the set. So, I mean, it's kind of a lot if you're not going to be playing the game. I got mine for a little less than that. So, you know, about $5 a miniature. I thought it was worth it just to finish off the collection of the other Greek heroes that I had from getting the set earlier. Anyway, that's all we got. Take care, everybody. God bless.